We're joined now by uh, the dean himself, Ed Rollins. He served in three presidential administrations, chief political advisor to the House Republican leadership. Ed, great to see you. Thank you. What in the devil is Mitch McConnell thinking? Uh, he's bragging about being a toady to the establishment and refusing to move through uh, the nation's business. Well, the reality, what he doesn't realize and hasn't realized up to this point, uh, Donald Trump got elected to change Washington. And changing Washington means getting things done and the things that he promised. The most important thing these Republicans have to do at this point in time, or, or they're all going to pay a heavy price, is get this tax bill through. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, it's going to be a difficult task at, at best, but it has to happen. And the, the members themselves are going to pay a heavy price. It would have been much easier if McConnell at the beginning, as we started yelling from the beginning of this administration, had changed the rules, simple term of changing the rules to where a majority... What excuse in the world is there? I think he's absolutely irrational. He's obviously been bought out by the Chamber of Commerce, the round table, uh, and frankly, uh, the establishment in, that includes the Democratic Party itself. Well, the history, the history of the Senate has been you slow things down. The country doesn't want things slowed down. Well, he's a genius at oh, that. Well, the country now wants things to work. And, and the way it works is you basically get a majority elected, and that majority moves forward. Is there any excuse for this man to deny uh, the efficacy of going to the 51-vote threshold? None whatsoever. None whatsoever. And the, and the reality then what is... what the hell should people do? Well, I think... Because he's just a stubborn I think, obstructionist. I think what's, ha what's happening is Bannon and others who are out there... Uh, saying these candidates, you want, to, you want to run for the Senate, you have to pledge that we'll get rid of this filibuster, that we'll get things done. Are you and, really saying that we're going to have to wait until the 2018 election? Well, no, I certainly hope not. I hope Doesn't that, this uh, president we, we have, have, we have a levers that he can bring well, to we bear? Well, we have a primary in Alabama in a couple weeks here, and that's, uh, that's a big issue that there. looks like uh, that's going to uh, blow up in McConnell's uh, uh, face. McConnell's face, and I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, this, this party needs to basically get functioning here and understand it's the Trump the agenda is it's file a file look like morons. Let's be honest here. It is a party that is poorly led. But, well, it's even worse than that. It, it's right. led by, it seems, uh, you know, enemy agents uh, in, in the form of Ryan and McConnell. What in the world are, the, are we to do? Well, they ought to be out there beating the drums on this tax issues. Uh, and obviously it has to move, has to move quickly. Uh, and the very idea that it's going to be that what they keep saying is tough, it's this, we can't get uh, 60 votes. Uh, you're not going to get 60 votes. You're going to get 51. You're going to get 52. Democrats are not going to basically be bipartisan. Democrats are going to fight you all the way. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, you have to compromise too much for them. And we have a majority, and we need to make our majority work for the president. Do you know that, honestly, McConnell is such a repugnant uh, figure? that I can't imagine why the U.S. Senate, the, the Republican conference, is tolerating him. Why Ryan in the House? This, these two men are absolute obstructionists. Well, I, th I think what has to happen is you need to have to move away from just one person or two people leading anything. Uh, these members have to take charge of their own destiny and, and move the ball forward. And this thing on taxes... Do they is, have the brains and the guts well, to do it? Well, if they, if they don't, they're not going to be there. That's the reality. Well, that's one answer, that's, but that's the, the, the fact of the matter is, if they don't have the brains and the guts, we're stuck with this nonsense until the midterm election. Let me just say this. If Harry Reid was still running the Democrats, which, thank goodness, he's not, and he only had 51 or 52 votes, I promise you he'd get through whatever he wanted to get through. Yeah. And that ought to be the role model. Yeah. So, Well... What's it going to take to bring Mitch well, McConnell to his side? I think the president has to do I'm what looking for, I'm looking for the magic solution. Well, here. the magic solution is you've got a very powerful president in the sense of his ability to go out and communicate to the country. I think they're running a superb operation here, like the dinner tonight. The, other the White House. The White House. And they're not getting all the full credit for it. But his going out and campaigning in 13 states, explaining to people why we need tax reform. Can he get McConnell out of the leadership position? If he decides to try and do it, I think he can. All right. And certainly, well, certainly he's got a wife uh, in the administration, so he can certainly put pressure there, too. All right. So. Uh, referring to the Secretary of Transportation, Lane Chow. Yes. Thank you so much. Ed Rollins. Thank you. Appreciate it as always.